Hi, I'm Brian from iWire. Uh, we're gonna show you how to replace a couple connectors, but first we're gonna show you how, how to identify if they are broken. Well, simple thing for the most part, they're gonna be cracked. Sometimes you might see some other damage somewhere else, maybe a broken lock here, but usually they're gonna snap where you press them. That's the most common point of failure. So although you could put this connector back on, it might come unseated and then you'll get a bad connection. So we wanna make sure all the locks, this one is way broken and moisture would get in eventually and come into the terminal. So you definitely don't want that to be like that. So in order to replace these connectors, you're gonna need something to de-pin them. We have a de-pinning tool set you can buy on our website. So I'll show you how to use it. So this one, we're gonna start with the coolant temp sensor. It's a little larger pick. There's a couple different sizes. Uh, it depends on what terminals or what housing and terminals you're trying to replace to figure out which one's the best. And this one I need a little more force, so I'm gonna use something a little bigger. Completely broke on us, not surprising. The trick with any deep pinning is that, actually this is actually works really well. So you can see how there's a little tab at the top. Normally when the connector's not broken, you couldn't see that as easily, but since it's broken, this will help. All you need to do is lift this little tab slide it out the back. If it doesn't, well, if it doesn't slide out easily, it's not, it's not released. And then go one by one so that you remember the order that they, they came out in. Break it out. Jeez. All are in, tight, doesn't pull out the back, press the lock insert the connector back there we go. another way to do this if sometimes the housing is difficult to work with and depinning one at a time might be difficult instead of taking out one at a time come in and take a picture of the pin order that way you know the pin order and then you can take it completely apart and put it completely back together the key is the, the number one mistake here is that people will pull on these too hard and rip the terminals out of the sockets. If you do that, you'll probably damage the wire in the terminal and then you can't just deep pin repin the housing. You're going to need to replace it as a pigtail. So in order to save the terminal, let's be really careful as we pull them out the back. Basic process for all terminals is what, all housings is what you've seen so far. So now we're gonna go fix the rest of these and then we'll show you via time lapse. So we've replaced all the connectors that we see broken. Uh, keep in mind that replacing them can be a struggle. They're old, they're brittle, so the little lock tab might get stuck in there. So even somebody like myself who's done this a bunch of times struggles with some of these. So take your time, be patient. If you end up breaking the whole thing, you can always buy a pigtail from us.